I'm, it's, I'm, fi I'm figuring out how to play the game, Uni. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, oh, there you go. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, now you can find anybody in any major city you're in. All you have to do is leave Valia. Cash shop. Yeah, you'll notice that nothing happens because you need to hit F3. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I need to, uh, now I know the importance of energy, even though it was stressed to me before. So gathering, where do we go? Do we go back to the city up here or do we go to whoever else's house this is over here in Heidel? The, the question is, do you have gathering gear of any sort? I do not. Somebody mentioned that earlier. Okay, and is there a specific class that does better at gathering or hunting? Uh, so for hunting, yes. For hunting, you want either a striker or a mystic. Striker is a little bit better, but mystic is not that far off. Also depends on which spots you want to hunt at. Uh, okay, I wanted to make a striker and, and my zerk anyway, because... Um... OP face roll classes is what I'm told. And so for gathering, it depends which kind of gathering. Uh, most most gathering you don't really care about the class that much, but you might want to consider like a Meiwa or a Musa for like the dashes and faster movement between packs. For like if you want to gather anything that has to do with killing animals, so like meat, blood, uh, leather, and so on, uh, the best. I personally, I really like Succession Corsair. Uh, I, I I like Corsair a lot for this, but you can also try like Awakening Valkyrie is uh, not bad. Uh, Shy is decent, although she is kind of slow in my opinion. And I think that also Succession Lan is pretty good in, in like butchering and uh, blood collection and stuff like that. But there it's not really like Better is just a little bit faster because like Corsair has a, a lot of movement abilities that do damage at the same time so you just Do your movement ability kill kill the pack gather it do your movement ability kill the pack instantly gather it and you just go in circles like this And so that's why that's why I, I like succession Corsair I know that it's not maybe the best choice for like or the primary choice for like most people but for me For me, I really like it Okay, that's good news because the only one out of all the classes you mentioned I don't currently have is um, a striker, which I was planning on making anyway. I just have to level this Corsair, but I'll, I'll have somebody boost me at some point. So yeah. as far as the crystal, is this one good? Stella Spirit Stone? It's 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 all, it's, uh, no, it's good. Yeah. yeah, you can you can take it, especially if you don't have any other. It's gonna give you mastery. It's gonna give you XP, so it's good. Okay, and um, Shimmy, the way I got the Mono's accessories is via Pearl Shop, more than likely, because I don't, I don't know why I even have them. I tried cooking one time, and then I got all these uh, these life crystals right here. Is it, Are these good life crystals, by the way? Uh, they are good for leveling, yes, so right now you will probably use them more than you would use the mastery ones. Okay, perfect. Let me quickly put this in the storage, and I'm right by Heidel on the other character, too, so this is actually convenient. Because I do have to get more maids. Soon. So I have, like, 3.2 bill, something cheap that I can get for gathering and hunting. So what should I type uh, in? So, I don't know what the market is looking like on NA. You can try Penlogia gear, or Penlogia gatherers, or you can try Ted Carta. Okay. If you go Karta, there's the blue grade. It's a little bit better. Karta gatherers clothes, yes. If there are TED version, you can get that. That should be relatively cheap. Oh, uh, it's a bill, but there's Under. none. Yep. Yeah, there's none. So the, the other option for this amount of money is probably a pen logia. So, yeah. Gatherers. Also nothing. I can get like a plus six. This, you can get maybe okay. So try try Manos is the last option. Yeah, like Galam is pointing out in my chat. There's one try Manos for 1.6 bill. Take that. Yeah, that's probably that's probably your best bet at this point. Okay. Since since nothing else is uh, on the market. What do we do now that we have our, mm -hmm. you know, Manos accessories and for the purpose of the video. For someone that is just starting out, wants to gather, 
on BDO and doesn't necessarily have the funding to have Mono's accessories or Mono's gathers clothes, it doesn't have a couple billion in disposable income. What would you recommend um, instead of Mono's? You can do it with lower, like, I don't know, Trilogia or something like that. Okay, um, that's good. Tetlogia is like 381 mil, which is extremely achievable to anyone by just even doing the, the main quest, you know, like that's a very basic amount of silver and BDO that should be easy to achieve for anyone. And what do you recommend as uh, someone who likes life skilling? Do you grind for some silver before you start your life skilling journey or how do you make your initial burst of silver in order to get started on this journey? So it really depends on what you like, what you enjoy. If you if you are someone who has grinded and now they want to try something different, then it's like no big deal. You can definitely go into the game and just start uh, life skilling, but it's going to take you, I would say, a little bit longer, or maybe more than just a little bit longer, because if you don't have the mastery, if you don't have uh, the tools, if you don't have like the necessary things, let's say. Yes. It's going to be much harder for you to make money. So at that point, you can do some like very basic stuff like grinding flour. That's going to be like terrible money. Or right? that's going to be like 40, maybe 50 million per hour. So okay. I, would really like, I would really recommend just get some, I don't know, do a little bit of grinding. You don't need to do that much. It's like, I would say like four to five hours at like orcs would be, be fine. You get your basic, like, I don't know, Trilogia accessories. You get your stuff from uh, from Liana, the Floramos one. Okay. And then once you have a little bit of money, you can you can start doing the life skills. You can definitely, like I said, you can definitely start from scratch, but it's going to be harder to get the amount of money that you need for like these items that you have. Okay, and cooking's not hard. I, I cooked for like a day and I got a bunch of those witch things to get the floor most accessory, so that shouldn't be too difficult. These aren't difficult things to do. Okay, so with that being said, um, I forgot what else I wanted to do. So, with that, um, what do I use and what kinds of gathering can I do? I have this magic lumbering axe. I have some fluid collectors. What would you say is some of the funnest gathering? And could you show me possibly some examples of what each of these looks like in the game, even on a small scale? Just gather a couple, whatever the hell you do with an axe and then whatever you do with the fluid collecting and things like that. And then um, maybe we could go over how profitable um, each of them has a ceiling to be as like this is end game profit for this thing and this is um, the starting end profit because I know that some things in the game may ramp up a little bit differently like maybe something makes garbage money through the beginning and then end game makes a ton of money or maybe something is very um, kind of fluent the whole way or like structured to where it kind of makes the same money the whole way Buka, thank you for the follow appreciate you um so we could talk about things like that but uh where would you like me to go and what would you like me to experience first so first i would definitely just try to get your mastery levels up which means that we need to go after what's the best exp in gathering which is going to be the hoeing like the npc in the western cup camp all right all right so i need these magic hoes apparently lunai wants me to hoe out here in these streets <laughs> <laughs> Oh, because it's, so, it's, it's the, it's the best. It's not herbalism. Okay, it's I just, I just wanna, I wanna put this on record, Lunai. <laughs> Hoeing out in the streets is the fastest way to get life experience. <laughs> Thank <It's> you, Jay. <laughs> BDO it's 101. Skill, okay. <laughs> for the life skill guide. Sure. <laughs> on record, hoeing out in these streets is the fastest way to get life experience. 
<laughs> Let's get right to hoeing then. I'm gonna take these three magic hoes out. All right, and then where do we go ho? I'm, I'm not. Look, Lunai, I'm I'm not. I'm new to hoeing. All right, I ain't been out here hoeing my whole life. <laughs> My my BDO life, anyway. We're not going to talk about IRL, but, you know, BDO-wise, I ain't been hoeing. I need a little bit of hoe instruction, if if you would. Where do okay, I... Uh... So, so, there are a couple of spots uh, you want, you could consider for a uh, hoe. Okay, I'm going to say hoe for this from one, okay? Okay, yeah. No, 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 no. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. Where would you like me to hoe? Tell me where I gotta go do it. Okay, so uh, the Stormwind Coast Box is a good play. Where where's that? Where do I where do I go do that? Okay, so no, uh, on, a, on a real note. So there are two places that I would consider to be the best EXP right now. Okay. In like owing. You could say like underwater <laughs> gathering, but we are not going to put Hercules through underwater <laughs> gathering, okay? Like that's okay. a fate I don't wish on anyone. So Okay. Uh, that sounds cool with, though, but okay, yeah, where are we going? It sounds cool, but it's the exact opposite of cool, okay? Um, maybe maybe it is cool because you're underwater. But the two places that I like to go, so one is Serene Springs. You can also do Bear, but Bear is not as good anymore. Uh, okay. It's not, it never was that good because you don't get seeds. And the last one, that's the one I would recommend the most. It's in Valencia. Have you ever done the Puturum Guild boss? No, I don't think so. I've never done any guild boss, ever. Okay, so it is in Valencia, if you can go to your map. Where do I, uh, where do I go now, okay, Matt? So now you need to go to the left. There's like a small pathway to the left. Not here, on the, like... Okay, now you go right after this. Oh, okay. Up, and you need to go up the hill. Up the hill. Not this one, exactly, but basically you go along the road, or like along this hill, or path. Right here? Yeah, 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 this is the one. Okay. And this is the spot. So. Okay. Uh, you can go down, 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 down. So here you have these like herbs. You see the wild herbs when you walk around them. Yeah. These are the gatherable items, sorry, the gatherable herbs. Okay, so just you just up. do this right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. look at that. Damn, that's a lot of stuff. Do my pets, my pets don't auto loot that, right? Um, also, no, no, you need to do it yourself. Are they helpful? Should I uh, be using any pets that you can tell that I have that are better for this? There is one pet. I don't know if you have it. It's uh, the llama or the hedgehog. Uh, uh, the llama or the hedgehog. I don't think I have any of those. Yeah. Okay. And then now we're gathering. Okay. Now we're gathering. Now I hope we have five plus five gathering. Okay, 133 energy, bro. We're 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 killing the energy game right now. So oh, then SP for me. Yeah, I was gonna Oh look at that. Gathering apprentice, bro. We're we're Where's the gathering? Hunting. Oh, on the left side. It's it's the big one on the left. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that always where it's gonna be? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. So I'm apprentice one. And then this stuff sells for nothing, right? It's just XP? It sells for a little bit. It's like, it's not bad money. You just want the wild herbs. Just the wild herbs. Don't gather anything else. Oh, wild, wild herb. Herbs. Okay. And is it because they give more XP? Yes. Okay. Wild herbs. You just gather every single wild herb that you, that you find. Okay. So you come all the way close to the desert over here, ladies and gentlemen, as far as the guide goes. Um, left of... Kutum, the ancient uh, worm electric whatever boss thing, there is run gateway intersection. And then, as you saw earlier in the video, you go up the hill and then you gather some wild herbs. Finally, that that's that's an uni quote right there. Erk finally touches grass, bro. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> finally, bro. Uh, there are down here. Uh, down here, you need to go more more grass just kind of wait for something to say wild herb is that sunrise yeah back, uh, back 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 you need to go closer to the to the road okay and it, like you see the you see the if you look left if you look left you more left more left 
If you see the rock, like in the middle of your screen, not that one, but the one on your, more on your right, that's basically like you do a circle around it. If you, like, the rock on your on the middle of your screen right now. Okay, circle around that rock. Okay. Yeah, you just circle around it, and there should be. The good thing about these herbs is that you can gather them twice for whatever reason. They are double stacked. I don't know. Someone was sleeping over at PA, and you can gather these twice. Nice. And I just got some some. Uh, what was that a gold item that I got? Like a potion thing. This thing. What is that? Uh, that's, Exchange. Uh, that's the byproduct. It's kind of like the witch's delicacy. Oh yeah. Nice. Gathering. Nice. Yeah. This is good. You do not have any pets with the specialization to find resources, so it makes your specialty is on and they will ping spot. Oh, nice. So some pets yeah, that, that will actually, actually ping. Yeah, that, that might be a good thing if you are just like looking for a spot. The, they, they will ping any resource, so that's the only problem. I don't use it personally, but that's because I guess I'm more experienced. Okay. Uh, are you gonna life skilling gear? Um, I got some stuff, monkey, but like I got some some mono stings, and I got one of the floor morse pieces already. But I don't know. I gotta see how much I enjoy it. This isn't bad though. This is like a fun little uh, chill stream activity, you know. Like I could see the allure now, um, Lune. I could see how you just throw on some nice music. There we go. I got a hundred energy now. Okay. And then I am skilled eight. Okay. So what other, uh, what other stuff can I gather as far as gathering goes, just to make a, a couple examples of some of the so other tools gather, that can be used. You can gather basically anything that you can kind of think of. So the, the, the six uh, main ones. So you have the lumbering X for timber. Okay. You have the, Fluid collector for saps from trees and also blood from animals. Okay. You have the, you have the hoe, which is for for this. Uh, for hoeing? Herbs. Okay. Yes, and it's for underwater gathering as well. So if you ever want to do underwater gathering, you can do that. Then okay. you have the butchering knife, which you use for meat. And then you have the pickaxe, which you use for rocks. And the, the tanning knife, which you use for leather and like hides and feathers and stuff like that. So those okay. are like main ones. I don't think there's... Uh... And which of those involve killing something? Butchering, tanning, blood collection. So those three. Okay. All right, sweet. Let's see what I've gotten to. I've gotten to professional three. That was pretty quick, honestly. And I have... A shitload of things I don't understand, but the something can be done with all this. Seeds. You can dump these completely. You don't, you don't need to do anything. You can just, just throw them. Throw them. Which ones? These? Uh, oh, all the seeds. All of the seeds. Yes, they are useless. Not they, even yeah, for. They, they might be. Yeah, they they are not good. Yeah. Not even for farming or anything like that, right? They're just trash. Yeah, they're trash. You can, you can, you don't really need anything from this. You only need to click the discard. Yeah. Yep. Definitely don't even know how to throw away items, guys. We're learning a lot. We just learned how to throw away items. There you go. Discard. Yes. Um. All right. So, got the gathering down. I will be doing some of this uh, on my own when I want to have like a chill stream because I really like it. So I say we try the hunting. Lune, what do you think? Sure. Why not? Let's do it. How do I go about doing that? Do we? Oh, I need energy again. Okay, so you need two things for hunting. Okay. You need a butchering knife and you need a matchlock. A matchlock. And are those things that are in here? Uh, the um, no. The butchering you knife. You can probably get a beginner matchlock from the material yeah. vendor, can he not? Uh, he can actually get from the progression pass. If he opens the progression pass... What button is that? Uh, it's on the top right of your screen next to the map. There is like a blinking arrow. Oh, okay. Nice. And you go to hunting. Oh, you've done none. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I've done none. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> can yeah, I buy that? I think you can. 
Um, let's see you with the there, central. There is works. definitely you. You can you can rent some as well if you have contribution, which I see that you do. Hunting apprentice matchlock, artisan matchlock. Do I have to be that level to use that matchlock or no? It it tells you that you need a certain level. I believe you also could bypass it with a certain amount of mastery. But you can start with an apprentice. It's actually a good idea to to do the progression pass. You need like eight things in there. Okay. To get a matchlock and the matchlock. The, the, the one that you get from the progression pass is actually quite good to start with. Should I get this uh, plus 10 one for 121 mil? I mean, if you, if you want it, you can get it. Sure. It doesn't seem like too big of a deal. Okay, and then where do I go to do some hunting? So the best place probably for you is going to be Narcion. Well, most likely. And most where is that? Actually. Uh, it's next to Odraxia in Odilita. Holy shit. That was a lot of names I've never heard of nor understand. <laughs> okay, it's in the it's in the goth mummy elf zone. <laughs> if you know where that is. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Brother, right, how have you not unlocked? How do you have this much gear and haven't unlocked fucking anything in the map? What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, I've, I, I don't left Valia like twice, bro. As someone in the chat said earlier, I have touched grass today. Today I touched some grass. Um, so Lunai, we are now at Adraxia. So where are we going to hunt us some things? Okay, you need to go to the west of Adraxia. You see there's the boss, the Roar Roar. Yep. On the... Yes, really? Yes. So... You need to go there. That's known as Narcion. Narcion, AKA the Rar Rar boss. Okay, and then the Floramore gatherers clothes. Do I need hunter's clothes or is that good? Uh, yes, you should want hunter's clothes. The gatherers clothes only work on gathering and this is a different life skill. It's like okay. using cooking clothes and alchemy. It doesn't work. Okay, so what would I be buying? So it's either you can once again start with Logia or you can so like Pen Logia or Trial or Ted Logia or you can try I think it's the uh, Robos or Robeaus. And there's only one for sale at oh, that sucks. base. So not Jeez. that one. Yeah, definitely not that one. So you can try Logia Hunter Clothes. Let me see the, the Monos one. Yeah. Yeah, Manos is also a good idea. Uh, there's none. Damn. Plus 10. Fuck. I mean, you might try Logia. Man, NA yeah. markets are dead or what? I need to migrate, man. I would make so much more money than... Yeah, the life scaling is crazy. They have try Logia only. So base Manos or try Logia? I mean, definitely try Logia then. It's gonna be much better. Okay. We'll buy that for now. With hunting, you also want to look in your or at your attack speed and critical hit in your P tab. P tab. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have, you have it in your character. Character. Oh, character. Okay. You have cast ability, right? So you have critical hit. There is casting speed or attack speed. You want attack speed, or if, <clears throat> and you want them both to be at five. So five out of five. Okay, so you can I... get the attack speed. You can get the attack speed from a uh, what's it called? Uh, from an outfit. Okay. I don't know if actually Sage is a good idea to do this. I don't know if Sage actually has attack speed. And then so critical. So basically, do this on a melee character. So you have um, this stuff. So how would I go about it, just to see what it's like? Is the deer here? Oh, these are the wolves right here, no? Yeah, they are the wolves, yes. And where's the deer? I am here. is a little bit further south. South, so go down on this road, right? Across the bridge? Uh, no, no, no. South on the map. So, like, you need to go up, down. This way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right there, okay. Somewhere around there. 
Bro, we're touching all kinds of grass today. <laughs> you, this thing only holds two bullets? Shouldn't hold three. Try it again. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there you go. Don't know why the first one was only two. Bro, look at how this man holds the rifle. Stand and deliver. <laughs> Bro, we're hunting with a musket. What is this? Okay, and then how do I shoot the guy? You just point and click. Left click. Why is it not shooting? Oh, double. Oh, I gotta do it again? I think you need to hold it. Hold it. Okay, there we go. And then load up. Oh, shit. This is dope. And then I skin the guy? Yeah, you go to them and just... Uh... You need a butchering knife, and then you just... And should I be swapping to gathering clothing every time, or no? No, 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 no. This is this is all... All hunting animals are... Uh, like, the loot is determined by your hunting mastery. Okay. So even though you are technically gathering them, it still counts as hunting mastery. Nice! Gather the corpse... What <laughs> what got us talking about weed? I mentioned grass and it, it gave Uni flashbacks. Oh damn, two shot that boy. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. this is cool. This is pretty badass. Just just make sure you don't venture too far off to the right because you can see those lions there, those, those black guys. They will eat you alive. Even with the gear that I have? Yes. Holy shit, I see them, dude. They're huge. <laughs> Bro, what? How strong? So is it like, how do you get to where you kill the lions? You need better uh, hunting gear because the hunting gear has uh, BP on it. Yeah, so just like your main combat gear, you also have life skilling gear. And the life skilling gear also has uh, different grades, so you can have different grade tools of life school skilling tools specifically. So in your case, you want a better musket as well as uh, I don't know. Does the gathering gear also affect your musket damage overall too? No, uh, musket damage in regular hunting, musket damage is uh, controlled by crit, attack speed, and like special attack modifiers. So like back attack, critical hit damage. I see. Uh, special attack, all that stuff. Are there additional crystals you can throw on as well to uh, impact that damage? Yeah, you can you can ho put on the, the, the critical damage, the corrupted, and you can also put the the, the the ones with the back attack damage modifiers, although the, the corrupted are better. So like anything that gives you plus bonus uh, back attack or critical damage or special attack will work on regular hunting. Let's see. Nice, and that's a lot of deer meat, dude. That's dope. And then you said how much money can be made um, hunting? So the lions over there is what you want to hunt optimally, right? Yeah, the lions, uh, if you are really good, you can get to like 2.4 billion an hour. Oh, like, shit. That's, <laughs> that's like 2000 mastery and like really sweating. Bro, this thing will kill me for sure. You're sure of this. Uh, it, it has a bleed debuff, unless you have the HP pod, maybe you do, that might help you survive, but like otherwise, they hit hard. I do, yeah, I have the HP pod, so can I survive, can I kill it without... I mean, you can try. I would not maybe... Why wouldn't you send him to lower oh, level shit. hunting mobs right now? Do you not think that this isn't the... This, do you really think this is the spot he needs to be starting out? Oh, it's out? not bad. No, no, he can't kill well, me. It's the... Okay, it's kind of good. It's the verge of those. I don't want him to kill lions. I want him to kill him the deer. Huh. And the deer hey. are very easy, easily killed. We're lion hunting, baby. Look at that. I'm gonna kill me one, bro. Oh, so I'm basically immortal with this HP pot, right? Yeah, Might be actually. Bro, new level <laughs> unlocked, baby. Do you have the infinite pot yet? Yeah, yeah, I have it on me. This lion ain't doing shit to me. Oh, you're chilling. Bro, this lion's cooked right now, bro. And is this lion gonna level me up like a shitload then? Probably. Bro! Lion killing with a white musket, day one, bro. <laughs> yeah, I you have are not using the right this. shit for that, as far as I'm concerned. Let's see. Can I harvest it, or is there a level requirement? Yeah, oh! You can. You'll be able to harvest it, I would think. 
Uh, yeah, I think the uh, I think the deer is way faster leveling though, because they die. You know, like you were saying. Yeah, especially especially right now, the deer are probably the best at your level. Like that was get, cool though. After you get higher levels, you can you can definitely try other spots, but like. For now, the deers are the best, I would say. Oh, one durability per shot. That's crazy. It's really nice knowing that I don't have to be afraid of the lions. So as far as like hunting AP to hit them harder, since they can't kill me. Look at this guy, bro. You don't want the smoke line. So <laughs> I can um, essentially just focus on doing more damage, which is all going to be based in... Um, and is there any temp buffs that are good for this stuff? And do I need to use the crystal at all or no? Uh, the crystal will give you mastery which and, and EXP, so that might be a good idea to do just for leveling. Okay. Uh, with the tent buff, so you can use the, the classic the life EXP buff, right? The, 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 the green villa buff. Otherwise, like, don't buy the tent buff like for the drop rate since drop rate does not work on gathering or any life school for that matter. Level so 8, gathering. bitches! It's turning gates, gates, sorry. Yeah, that one. Okay, nice. Oh, bro, of course I bugged the game already, dude. Look at this. <laughs> Try combat rolling. How do you do that? Uh, hold shift and uh, direction keys. Shift, nope, okay, nope. Okay, and how much money could you make per hour killing those lions? If you have 2,000 mastery and you really sweat, over 2 billion an hour. Holy shit, that's a lot, bro. Yeah, lions are complete, like, they are a little bit too OP, but you really need to sweat it. Okay, so you gotta be, like, moving around, killing lions fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing striker yeah. things. Exactly. I think, like, the, it's around, like, 300 kills that you need for it, which is quite a lot. And you would, so like when you're doing it, are you doing it with the best weapon and the max clothing or no? Mm, so personally, I don't really hunt Shadowlands that much, but when I do, yes. Okay. And then how come you don't do that as much? You do some other stuff that's... He's way above your tax bracket, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> so you do something that makes you more money than that? Uh, no, <laughs> I, I don't play the game for money. <laughs> Okay, so you just do whatever is more enjoyable for you to do, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I don't pan... Uh, so I have two series that I'm running on my uh, YouTube and Twitch. I'm uh -huh. running the... So the easier one to explain is the Iron Man. So I have a life skill only region locked Iron Man account. So yeah, Iron Man is the regular... So you, if you've seen like Cyclude or Galam 8 or like any Iron Man accounts, it's basically that, but I can only do life skills and I'm locked in Balanos for now. So. Iron Man life skilling? Holy fuck. Yeah, it's it's been a, it's been a pain. We did I did 50 hours to get a bet. Uh, that was fun. Uh, but the Iron Pan is another challenge that I'm running, and it's the challenge to get 2 million of every single meal in the game without using the central market to buy the ingredients. So I have to gather everything myself, hunt everything what myself. What the fuck is the point? Holy shit. It's Playing on hard mode. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. So, you're uh, you're so, unreal. Yeah. See, I thought, I, I don't know, I'm playing my own version of an Iron Man, but my Iron Man is just 100% free to play and I'm not allowed to buy upgrades, I have to self-enhance everything, that's it. Yeah, that, that, that's that's fun fun to do as well, right? I just, Iron I Man just like life skills. killing though? <laughs> I am the other way around, like grinding puts me to sleep and life skills yeah. I, I really enjoy. That's, oh, that's fair. <laughs> Kotz is like, we like suffering around these parts. Why <laughs> is that? That BD, like BDO players are like masochistic, dude. They just love the abuse. It's it's so crazy to me. So like, for, for example, what I'm hunting right now is something that I would never recommend anyone to hunt. And it's the fucking Ferina and Ferikas in Kamasilvia. Is it like Chocobo looking like birds in Kamasilvia? Oh yeah, that's what I saw you doing when I watched yeah, the stream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I need to do that for around 150 hours, I uh, give or take, of hunting the, those birds. And I think if you want to do it for money at my 2k mastery, it makes me 500 to 600 million per hour. So I would definitely not recommend that one. 
Holy shit, dude. People grinding for hundreds of hours to get rare treasure drop craziness. Oh, yeah, I've heard that, too, that the uh, the treasure items is, is an insane grind as well. It definitely is, yes. Like, it's thousands of hours to grind for certain treasure items. And I can see with the critical, it'll be fun, dude. I, I like the hunting. It's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's the gateway to life skills. If you are a grinder and you just like grinding, hunting is the way to get you into life skills. This is this is dope, dude. I like the hunting. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. Eric actually finding gameplay that he enjoys? <laughs> Bro, it's not, it's not bad. It's a pretty cool little thing, you know? It feels like you're playing a mini game. Yeah, you land in the morning light then because when you life skill you, and gather, you have a chance to proc an actual minigame that occurs to get even more loot. And there's a rare treasure item that can, can potentially drop as well that's worth like what, five or six bill? Six bucks. Six. It usually is six bucks. Oh shit, and that's just anytime you're doing uh, anything anywhere or is in that area specifically? Well, it has to, has to be life skilling, and you, but you have to do land in the morning light. Okay, yeah. To be artisan one for that as well. Yeah, what is it yeah. called? Golden finger or something like that? Uh, golden thumb, yes. Golden thumb. <laughs> and what is the best? I think I like hunting a lot more than gathering as of now. So what would be the best hunting pets? It, it is the same as the gathering one. It, it's oh, the, yeah, uh, you, want, you want the hedgehog. Yeah. Just a bunch of hedgehogs. Hedgehog, no, just, just one. one. Just, just one. one. It doesn't stack passive abilities. Yeah, you you won't, if you get a tier for a hedgehog, you have like I think it's a thirty five. <laughs> oh, I was like, who wrote that, bro? And then I checked, and I'm like, god damn it, <laughs> troll level master grade, bro. I mean, it's not too often I get this chance, right? <laughs> oh, this effing line, bro. Bam, bam, fast reload. Bam, bam. Oh, bro, I just became an efficient hunter. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, yeah, the Q, all right, guys, so you want to Q, pop a squat, bang, 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 knock him out, yo, this is, this is, this is legit, bro, yeah, I need a better gun for sure, bro, this guy's damn near immortal, dude, <laughs> you're not meant to be hunting these with this rifle, that's really nice, let me see, matchlock is what it's called, right, yes, matchlock, uh, you can get a professional one, uh, professional, there we go. Oh, they got some plus tens. There we go. That's what's up. <laughs> so I get the professional one, and then the other one was... The next one's going to be the artisan one, right? Which requires professional yeah. ten, yeah. I, I don't think you really need to, like, spend that much money on this. I think you will, like, get artisan ten relatively quickly. So and I then... Not really, like... Ah, it's fine, because I could just sell them back, right? Well, you will still lose on the tax, but yes, you can. <laughs> ah, that's fine. That's not, not too big of a deal. There, there are other pets that also give that buff. I think it's the Fudgy Llama or something like that. Fudgy Llama. Uh, they are not always available on the center market. Uh, llama oh, okay. Them. Yep, Hedgehog or Llama is not currently available. Oh yeah! It's oh the, yeah, there like, is the, like, only oh, twenty six hundred, and I would have to get him to what tier four? Tier four, yeah. <laughs> so I would need like a lot of hedgehogs, or do I just feed them gospies? You can feed them any. Uh, what is it? Rare pet? No. Fuck! I don't I think it's a rare pet. Yeah, it's rare. It says it right there. It's a rare pet, so yeah, you can feed them Ghostface, you can feed him uh, Otters, uh, you can feed him Baphomets, Baphomets are one of the easier pets to get from the center market. Okay. Alright, so we are now going to try sniper rifle hunting, not with the uh... Yeah, shock. So do I do I the same the thing? Click. Oh, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Bro, there's no way. <laughs> then you need to like hold, press and hold the left mouse button. And you want the like there's gonna be like a circle coming close to the crosshair. And when it's in the orange spot or like the yellow spot, you want to let go of the le left mouse button. 
Yeah, like that, exactly. Ooh. And now you need to hit it in the middle. In the middle, you need to hit the bullet, so like, you like a reload. Oh, faster. so I failed? Yeah. Okay. But you, you still reload, it's just gonna take longer. And I can hit it anywhere, essentially? Yeah. You, there's like different types of like... what. Basically here, it depends where you hit it. If you hit it on the head, it's gonna give it more damage. If you hit it like on the leg, it's gonna do less. And how do I know if I'm killing this stuff to loot it? Do I have to go loot it? You have to go loot it, yes. It tells you on the left if you hit it or not, right? It says like miss or it's just like perfect shot. Okay. Oh, okay. Shot yeah, but like this one, kinda. It's gonna be good for the interaction, I guess. Okay, now you, now Critical you can... hit. Okay. Now I can go loot it? Yeah, now we can go loot it. Oh, this is crazy, dude. The last thing I really wanted to do <coughs> was I was going to create a, a striker so I can have that because I'm, I'm definitely going to full send the hunting. Um, okay. Yeah, and I did recover the horses too, Mythical. I don't know what the hell is going on with it. So I want to craft. I want to make a quick, uh, a quick striker because, yeah, hunting and horse riding are going to be my new things. And uh, fishing only when there's an event. I really, really like the hunting. I'm going to work on that a lot. No, that, that's good right there. That's good. How do I... Uh, there we go. Let's see. <laughs> Prawn King Hercules. Check. <laughs> Available. <laughs> no. And then which one of these? Ancient Stone Chambers Velia, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, we're going to the city, bro. Yeah, no, yeah, the hunting I mean, is nice. Especially that line hunting, how much money can be made. It's kind of fun. I liked it a lot. But anyway, I'm going to raid Lunai. Y'all go ahead and give Lunai a follow and check him out. Every once in a while, he's probably streaming a lot more than me. And he's phenomenal at it. So that's the dude right there. I'm sending you guys over. Big love. No, thank you for putting up with me, Lin. <laughs> the worst Man, person this, to this teach was, ever. This was really fun. This was really fun. Likewise. Yeah.